few years ago, the only meat-free burgers you could easily get your hands on were bean burgers, one of the classic veggie options on the restaurant menu, along with mushroom risotto or stuffed peppers. But recently, the meat-free burger market has exploded with all kinds of options now available, from your classic vegetable patty all the way through to bleeding vegan burgers. Ooh. Some even taste like and have the texture of meat. Vegetarians, vegans, and meat eaters are happy to munch on these burgers, but have you considered what's in them? Let's dive in. Why has the meat-free market grown so much over the past few years? Well, plant-based meat has the potential to do some good in the world, improve sustainability, help end factory farming, make a positive impact on global warming, and give people a chance to eat a meaty, bleeding burger without the meat. While some vegans might be slightly put off by the meat-like texture and taste, there are just as many, if not plenty, who are vegan for environmental reasons, and who love the chance to eat foods they're familiar with. But as with everything, the plant-based world isn't without its criticism. The CEO of Whole Foods and the CEO of Chipotle have both said in the past that Beyond and Impossible Burgers are too highly processed. Other criticisms include that plant-based meat sometimes include GMOs. Well, what's a GMO? GMO refers to any living thing that's had its DNA altered using genetic engineering. Yikes. People also say that they don't look good, or that the whole fake meat concept is weird, and that they're not actually that healthy. So what's in this meat-free burger? Well, there's a lot of companies out there making their own meat-free burgers, but for the sake of convenience, let's just focus on the Beyond Burger. There's a sizable list of ingredients thrown into this plant patty. For protein, the burgers have peas, mung beans, fava beans, and brown rice. These are all included to deliver the greater or equal levels of protein than a real meat burger. For fats, there's cocoa butter, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and canola oil. This is to give the burger the juiciness as well as to create that sizzle in the pan. Next up, minerals, which include calcium, iron, salt, and potassium chloride. These are all to give the taste and function that a typical burger would give you, especially iron. Then beet juice extract, apple extract, and natural flavors are tossed in to give it that color, as well as the meaty taste without GMOs. Lastly, potato starch and methicellulose, a plant fiber derivative, is used to hold together all the ingredients to give that beef burger texture. Okay, great, we now know what's in it. So how exactly does it all work? Well, according to Beyond Meat, using heating, cooling, and pressure, we create a fibrous texture of meat from plant-based proteins. Then we mix in the fats, minerals, fruit, and vegetable base colors, natural flavors, and carbohydrates to replicate that appearance, juiciness, and flavor of meat. I didn't even realize scientists could be such great cooks. That's not even a joke. According to the Fast Company, dozens of scientists donned white coats to create mimic meat in a 26,000 square foot facility. If that doesn't impress Shania Twain, I don't know what will. That don't impress me much. How about that bleeding meat-free burger you might have heard about that tastes and looks a bit like meat? Well, Impossible Foods has patented that. The company says its burger uses 95% less land, 74% less water, and creates 87% less greenhouse gas emissions than your traditional meat-based burger. Now, let's get a bit sciencey. To get that signature bleed, pink in the middle, tastes a bit like meat thing, Impossible Foods discovered that soy legemoglobin found in the root of soy plants would do the trick. To make it, the company basically genetically engineers yeast so that it produces soy legemoglobin during fermentation. The protein carries heme, an iron-containing molecule that occurs naturally in every animal and plant, and that's, in very simple terms, how you get the bleedy bit. I'm starting to question how much I like blood now. So there you have it. That's the lowdown on a typical meat-free burger. Have you tried it? What do you think about them? Let me know in the comments below. I myself have actually tried a Beyond Burger before, and it's bloody tasty. It's scarily accurate that I could even be fooled into thinking it was real meat. James may perhaps wasn't quite convinced though. No. If you like this video, please give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe to Food Tribe. Mm -hmm.